What's up you guys, Ethers Mr. Blue Child coming to you with a pick a card. Hope all is well with you guys and I hope that this reading is useful to you. The reading is what is your boss karma for firing you. This is for people who was fired unreasonably or out of nowhere didn't see it coming in a grimy way. So take what apply, leave the rest. Shout out to my subscribers new and old for holding the vibes, building the vibes, building the channel. If you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. So, take what apply and leave the rest. I think I the timestamp is going to be in the description box and the message box. So we have three pals. I have cards here if you want to pick cards, but behind the cards, they're doors. They're actually doors. They're cards, but they're doors. So there's messages, inspiration, a little adventure behind them. So pick it if you want to pick it. So this would be the card for pal one. This would be the door for pal one. This is the card for Pal 2. This is the door for Pal 2. Pal 3 have two doors. So this is the card. This is door number 1. And this will be door number 2. Meditate. Focus on it. Pick your door or your deck. And I'll see you in Pal 1. Oh, I want to say this for people who's watching this intro. When it's a boss, a boss is looked at as an emperor. Emperor is looked at as somebody's husband. So this can very well be a love relationship that comes out. Or it could very well be an actual job. So take what apply again and leave the rest. Okay, Pal 1. If you pick this door. Or if you pick this card. This is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well when you see this. Hopefully you in good spirits, whether you lost your job or not. Title today is, What is your boss karma for firing you? Take what apply, leave the rest. Now, in Tarot, when we talk about boss, the boss is the emperor. And the emperor could also be looked at as someone's husband. So, if some relationship, like, scenarios come out, don't start running and panicking, saying, this is not my job, I'm not dating my bosses. It could give you messages for your job and what's going on behind the scene in your relationship if you're in one, unknowingly. So, here we go. Your boss, karma for fire in you, for one, this pal is definitely, they're going to go through bad karma because bad karma is right here. It's just right straight there. So, some of them going to want you to come back. They're going to want to hire you back, but it's too late to hire you back. Some of you guys, your boss could be born in April, April 19th, if you know their birthday. They could be an Aries. There you go, Emperor Energy. So, yeah, this person, hold on for a second. For some of you, your boss could have been an energy that was like a hot and cold energy, somebody that blows hot and cold. That's like a knight energy, a knight of swords or a knight of wands. This person could have been very immature. They could have been come across very detached. They didn't have any emotions. This is a person that um, if your boss, depending on your job, because I don't know what type of job you have. Some of you bought your bosses were really on the um, would leave the job or wasn't on or around the job, and will leave you to work on your own. For some of you guys, your boss seemed like somebody that was somebody that was that came out twice. That was a wolf in sheep's clothing. Like they'll come across somebody that's very nice and caring and like understanding but they really not they look for people who are people who are weak people they can prey on i could already see some of this energy is for what's going on in their behind the scenes in their home life with your boss this boss was a, i didn't even really focus on the pride I, I, I it's out here but i didn't focus on it this person is a real grimy person for some, for most of you guys. Because they have pride, they have ego, and they're a wolf in um, sheep's clothing. This boss is like a boss that will hire, for, hire somebody. Let me slow down. Somebody talk fast here. This boss could be somebody that will hire somebody. Because they have like... Now this is the boss again. The, this boss is a boss that have pride and arrogance and, and they like ignorant. This is a person that is more on their dominant energy. They like to suppress people and they like to exalt themselves on people.
but it seems like this person hired people only that they think they could get over on. Some of you guys were detached from them. Some of your bosses wanted to have sex with you and you closed yourself off to them. You didn't want to have sex with them. But this boss is somebody who feel like when they, when they talk, you're supposed to respond. This is a boss that will also do grimy things if they can't get their way with you. Their pride and their ego and their arrogance will get so far into to their mental that they will they would f fire a person for this type of thing. Like, say for instance, your boss want to be with you on the sideline, but you don't want to be with them. Yeah, their ego will get like so hurt, and they have so much pride that they would end up firing you. Some of you guys behind the scene, the family that they have established. Their family is not doing well. If they have a, a wife that, and have kids, the wife and kid don't really like them. There's a lot of uh, instability going on with uh, their personal life. I'm going to tap into that. Let me dial back. Let me give you the message of your card. If you pick this door, this is your message. It says, Offerings. Abundance lies in the heart that allows. So be open for people to come bring you any type of help, any type of offerings, any type of, any type of leg up, not any type. If it's useful to you, prime example, if somebody come to you and tell you, oh, they are hiring down the block. If it's not useful to you, you know to let it go because you're not looking for a job. But you know if you're looking for a job, you should take advice. Like maybe I should walk down the block and apply for the job if you're interested in the job. It says share more than expected and see love come around. Pass this card around, so that's info you should pass to someone. In life, we are here to actually help one another. It's like one hand wash the other, two hands wash the face. You, um, what this um, message is giving you, confirmation with that ringing. This message is telling you to, to be open to take, I mean, be open to give more than you take. Again, it goes with that boss, because um, I don't read these messages prior to the reading. I read them, I see them when you see them. So that's giving me, again... This boss is a boss that has like a narcissistic type of energy. Like they don't want to be a bother with a person if they're not going to benefit for the person. They're not going to hire a person if they're not going to benefit from them. They're not going to They're not going to order goods from a person if they can't benefit from this person. Some of you guys could be Buddha. I don't know. That could be your religion or you could practice Buddha. You like to meditate. Your boss also going to have people competing with them. They're going to have other competitors competing with them, but it's going to come across like friendly competition, but it's not. It's going to be people people with pride and arrogance and ignorant minded, just like them. People who come across like a wolf, but they, I mean, come across as a sheep, innocent, nice, nurturing, just want to help you. But no, they're going to want or tear of motive. And some of you guys, depending on how your job work with the benefits, you have to have a certain amount of people on the payroll to have certain type of insurances for the for your employees so prime example there are certain packages if you have employees less employees than 14 you get this type of package if you have a big company with people like 50 employees you get this package this person is going to start having to start to pay more money out than they want it unexpectedly because they fired you they're going to have to give um more pension plans they're going to have to be more flexible more flexible with people, they're going to have to, um, they can either lose money or either way they're going to lose money, whether they lose the contract with, say for instance, Blue Cross or Blue Shields or MetLife, whoever your insurance is, if you have insurance with your job, they're going to have to start paying more money. If they're not paying more money directly to the company that they getting these benefits for the, for the employees health benefits, they're going to have to give employees more money to cover your shift, a.k.a. overtime, a.k.a. they're going to have to be more flexible. They're going to have to give up money. They're going to have to give up things. Some of them are going to have to repair their credit because a lot of them don't really have the money that they act like they have. They don't, they're not getting the, they're not getting the, the income in. They're not getting the finances that they thought they would get. Some of you were a poor in part to this job. So let's start clarifying this. Clarify the bad karma. What is the bad karma that this boss is going to get? Says the emperor, six of wands. People are going to be defensive towards this person. People are going to start blocking themselves towards this person. And there's going to be a lot of ego with this person in competition. Like I said already. 
The employees, some of their employees going to turn on them. They're going to start getting problems with their employees. This emperor could be somebody who's religious, but they religious, they religion, they believe in, they believe in, what is that? Just became distracted, sorry. Their religion is going to be, oh, when I did that, trying to like hide that, they, they believe in something that the average person don't believe in. They, they are part of a coven. Some of them could be like, um, what do you call them, masons and stuff like that? It says eight of pentacles and eight of swords. They're going to be tied in their head about their money. How to make the money, how to get their money. They're going to go through mental confusion. They're going to, some of you, they're really going to want to hire you back, but they're not going to be able to hire you back. So with the eight of swords, they're going to put themselves in a mental confusion. Somebody could be born in, um, in 1988 here. Somebody could be born August the 8th. Or 88 could just be important to you. 88 is about abundance. It's about material abundance, jackpots and stuff like that. This person is going to have to be more cautious when it comes to their money as well. Page of Cups. Yeah, they're going to have to pay people to help them. They're going to have to pay... They're going to have to hire people that doesn't have the type of experience that you guys have. So they're going to have to pay more money out because now this person going to need training with the Page of Cups. Some of you were just nice and creative and nurturing and caring. You cared about your job. Some of you were getting underpaid and didn't care. It's like you just a person that kind of like... And don't take this as a dig, but some of you don't know your self-worth, so some of you were being underpaid, and you didn't look at it as anything because you like your job or you like the people you um, you worked with. But this person, your boss is definitely with this page of cups. They're definitely going to have to pay out more money. Seven of Wands. And the Hangman. And that Emperor is right back there. And now you have the Nine of Swords. Somebody's going to have anxiety. There's going to be a lot of anxiety with this person. With the Eight of Swords and now the Nine of Swords. This person is, is going to have bad dreams. It's going to be like they're going to have worries about their finances. How they're going to keep this business open. This person is going to be like somebody that's very wounded. Because you see how they look like, like they the victim now. Some of them could go to jail. Depending on what's going on with this job. They could very well go to jail, but they're going to have some enlightenment that firing you wasn't a good thing to do. With the seven of wands, the seven of wands is a bunch of blocking. This person going to become very defensive. They're going to have to um, also hide the shady things that's going on because some there's something shady going on around the workplace. What is the seven of wands and this emperor? It's the temperance in reverse. Somebody here could be a Taurus. With the temperance in reverse, this person is not going to have any balance. This person is going to become unbalanced. It's going to be like disharmony in a workplace. Whoever they hire is going to be like oil and water. They're going to be clashing. They're not going to be getting along. This person is going to have to practice moderation. They're going to have to practice um, taming down their ego with this hierophant here. Some of them are going to have to be the teacher, and they're not going to want to teach whoever that they're hiring. They're not going to want to take the time to teach them already. They don't want to take the time to teach them already. They're not going to want to take the time to teach this page of wands because they already invested in teaching you. For some of you guys, your boss really like you guys. And they, they taught you a lot about this job. They spent a lot of time showing you things. Some of you were a page of cups, somebody who was very smart, somebody borderline genius, somebody who could learn very well, learn very easy. Yeah, they're going to have to start showing somebody how to do this job, and they are not going to do it. It's going to put them in a eight of swords and a nine of swords. It's going to have them panicking. Can this person do this job? And they're going to be enlightened behind this with, with this Pisces energy here. Somebody could be a Pisces. Somebody could be an Aries. Somebody could be a Taurus here. Clarify this wolf in sheep's clothing. 
Nine of Pentacles. This person care about money, and all they do is care about money. Wolf in sheep's clothing and Nine of Pentacles. They care about their image. They care how they look. They don't care how they treat their employees. They just care what they're getting in, what they're reaping, what they're, as long as they can sit there and look like a boss, as long as they can sit there and have people in the community, like, uh, look at them like they some hot shot, some big type of thing. This is all they care about. But they're going to realize with this nine of pentacles, people going to start to see them for who they are. The queen of swords on the bottom, they're going to start seeing them as somebody cold, calculated. Somebody who don't really care. Somebody who needs to transform their mentality. You have second chance here as well. And they took a gamble and they fire you and it, and it has too late. So again, somebody is strong Aries energy here. Strong emperor energy here. So some of them going to be ashamed. They're going to feel guilty. They're going to feel ashamed. If you help repair this person, this um, boss finances, if you was working like a supervisor or somebody being that... The, where is it? The Queen of Swords on the bottom. You could have been a manager. You could have been somebody helping them with their finances or whatever. This person is going to really pay for that. I want to know what's going on behind the scenes. Clarify the, the foundation. What's going on with this person's family? What is their karma? Two of Swords, Page of Swords, Five of Swords, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, this per not the Knight of Wands, it's the King. I know it. The King of Wands. The King of Wands, the Two of Swords, the Page of Swords. Somebody scared of their wife or somebody scared of their husband. Whoever, if it's a male, if it, they scared of the person that they um, go home to. And with the Five of Swords, there's a lot of competition. This person is going to be caught in their head about the betrayal that they did. Because, again... This person is a grimy person, so what's going on behind the scenes? They, they're grimy at home as well. They, they are a callous, cold person. They use heart over, um, a mind over heart decision. This person is always somebody who's caught in their head, always somebody who's juggling ideas, who don't like to make decisions. This person is going to look at the betrayal. They're going to have to be forced to see the betrayal. Hold on. What is the karma for this king of, um, king of Wands? Clarify this King of Swords and Two of Swords. What the Seven of Swords, this person is a grimy person again. It's like Mr. Don't You Know No Good. It has a love child in reverse. This person could have made a child on their wife behind the scene. A child that they don't want. Money's going to go towards there. In their mind right now, they're thinking about this. This the King of Wands is somebody that's very passionate. Somebody that is somebody that that Yeah. They're a chameleon. They blend into any situation. This King of Wands is somebody that is very grounded, very protective of their they energy. Their wife or their husband is not having sex with them anymore. Clarify this King of Wands with the Two of Wands and the Page of Swords. Somebody's gossiping about this too. There's a lot of gossip going on. It says Firestorm. Somebody is a fire sign. It says Karma, Drama, Endings, Loss, Mental Breakdowns. And I said that already. This person with that Nine of Swords and that Eight of Swords is going through a mental breakdown. They're having bad dreams. Some of them are drinking, popping pills, thinking about this. Some of them are partying. Some of them are caught in their head. They don't know what move to make. It's like they just stuck and isolated, guarding themselves, protecting themselves. And it has romance on the bottom. Somebody made a child behind the scenes that you don't know about in your boss's life. Somebody made a child. And they're going through it with their um with their wife. This person gonna go through a lot of loss behind this, behind fire. And this reading is for people who's been fired for reasons that they shouldn't have been fired. So if you didn't go to the intro, that's what this reading is really about. It's just not like they're getting karma just for firing. So if you got something from this, like and or subscribe. Going off to pal two. At the bottom of the deck, I wasn't gonna say it, but it showed itself again. The Ten of Swords. This person's going through a painful ending. A very painful ending. They're gonna feel like they pinned down. They're gonna feel like they have nowhere to go. They're gonna feel like they stuck. They're gonna feel like they it's it's them against the world, basically. And they and they need to balance themselves. They're not balanced, they're not tempered. They're gonna have to take a look within themselves. And see that they're very grimy. They're very chameleon-like. They very they don't stand in their power. 
They use their power against people. They use their authority against people, not for people. So again, like and subscribe if you have gotten something from this. Till next time. How to? Wait, hold on. Pause. I almost mix your guy, you guys power up with power three. So if you pick this deck, or if you pick this door, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. Hopefully this reading is useful to you. Hopefully you in good spirits. And the title today is What is your boss karma for firing you? Take what apply, leave the rest, and let's go. Now, some of you guys, if some love relationship come out, uh, Emperor is looked at in tarot as a boss. It's also looked at somebody husband. So take what apply, leave the rest. If love come out, you don't need to say, oh, I wasn't dating my, my boss, Ray, 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 Ray. It could be something going on behind the scenes in your relationship or in a relationship that you don't know. So, take what apply, leave the rest, let's go. I'm going to give you a message behind the door that you picked, and then we're going to get into it. It says, Hummingbird Song. Some of you guys could be from the island. Some of you could be from Jamaica, particularly. It says, Nectar of Sweetness and Joy It Brings. The Hummingbird's Healing as a Medicine It Sings. So, being a nice, there's, there's, there's healing and being nice. There is, there are benefits in being nice. And I'll give you another way of looking at this. You get more, how, what is the saying? You get, I forgot the saying, I'm going to tell you it. Because it's right on my tongue, but. I forgot the saying, hold on for a second. The saying is you attract more bees with honey than vinegar or lemon. I had to get that out of my head. I had to. So let's move forward. What is your um, boss karma? Okay, so we have, for starters, self-worth, expectations. We have self-love, intention. So it's big here that somebody wasn't being treated properly or somebody didn't know their self-worth. You have a leap. And then you have freedom. And then you have, well, I'm going to stop there because it's the first row. So I'll just stop there. Okay. What is your boss karma for firing you? Some of you, your boss thought they was going to hurt you by firing you. You didn't care about being fired. You actually didn't care about that job too much. You wanted to leave the job. You wanted to take a leap of faith on yourself and, and find a new opportunity. Some of you were potentially looking for other jobs and you was finding it hard to find a new job. So you stayed there. This person, whoever fired you, whether it's the boss, the manager, this person had an ego issue. They had an issue with treating you like a decent human being. This person knew that you was creative. Some of you did question your self-love, though. But with um, them firing you, if that resonates with you thus far, this person with this big ego, they're going to be trapped. They're going to be trapped and they're going to be fucked up over you. Why? Because they done fucked themselves. Because they fired you and now this business is going to crash to some degree. Whatever, however you had this business running like a well-oiled machine, some of you did. It seems like you did. Because you have the divine masculine here. And divine masculines and divine feminine don't come around just trying to break things down and, and, and tear things down. So some of you work at your job and you were a good worker for some reason. The ego, there was a clash in egos. But this boss is going to go through bad um, bad credit and bad bad karma and stuff like that. When I said they're going to go through bad credit, that is a part of their bad karma. They're going to be in debt. Some of them may get fired. If they don't own this job, they probably get fired for firing you. Or they're going to hire other employees that's going to drain the... The finances around the, the job, depending on the job that you have, some of them going to have, have fired you and going to have to hire somebody that's going to cost them more. Some of them, they're going to get somebody that, that's still from the job. Some of them didn't want to give you a raise, being that you have performance evaluation. Some of you needed to have a performance evaluation. They refused to give you an evaluation because if they had given you an evaluation, they knew that they would have to give you a raise. Some of you wanted to be a, an entrepreneur anyway. Some of you were working on your own business anyway. 
if that's the case, they really going to be screwed because now you're going to take your good old energy and build your company and build your company that's going to be functioning while their company is crashing and burning. This divine masculine here, I'm going to clarify this divine masculine. Somebody could be Muslim here. Somebody here is going to be fake busy. They're going to act like they're busy, which means their business is going to lose a lot of the confirmation. I don't think you heard that um, horn honking out there. This business is going to lose a lot of its clientele, a lot of its customers, whatever type of business you have, this was. They're going to start losing their uh, clientele, their business. They're going to lose the people coming into this place. Now, down here it says GPS and seed of potential. So this person is going to have to look for people. But again, the people that they look for is not going to be people that's going to be able to replace you. Because it seemed like some of you guys were very good workers and was able to do their job. But it says, plant the seed of potential and nurture its sprout and promise with your attention and care. If some of you are entrepreneurs, don't try to look for another job unless you have to. Unless you have to make ends meet, you have no other money anywhere else, start focusing on your job. Your entrepreneurial job, whatever you're trying to build. Now, it says, frost of stillness. Embrace the frost of stillness, wherein the calm and icy pause reflective clarity is found. So some of you, again, don't try to go look for another job if you're trying to build your own job. Your boss, though, they're going to be in frost of stillness because this person is, again, whoever they hire, whoever, whoever is working here, depending on how they fired you guys, the other employees is going to start looking at them and start looking at them as grimy. So they're going to have to reflect on themselves as well. There's a lot of reflective energy going on here. Whether it's for you to build your own business or them to get their mind right and stop being grimy. And stop treating people less than. Some of your bosses didn't want you to talk to your other employees. They wanted it to be like a dog-eat-dog -dog world, like a rat race. But this person is going to, again, is going to be a lot of freezing on their, their income coming in. Let's clarify this. Divine Masculine and Fake Busy. What is the karma here for Pal 2's boss for firing him? It says the moon. And then you have the King of Pentacles in reverse. This person going to lose money. They're going to lose their stability. And they're going to go through it. They're going to go through a lot of mental confusion, a lot of illusions, a lot of delusions. This person is going to have cloudy judgment. With the King of Pentacles in reverse, this is a grimy boss. They've been stealing money, whether you know it or not. And the money is it's going to be shown that they are stealing for, for some of them. For others of them, they're going to lose money. This person is going to start doing any type of things to get money because they're grimy. They'll do any type of schemes, Ponzi schemes, or type of schemes to get money. Hold on. Clarify this King of Pentacles in reverse with the moon. What, what is they karma for firing? Power 2, and I'm going off the power 3. It says Divine Feminine. They're, behind the scenes, their relationship is going to crash. They, 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 Because they're not going to have money. It says Divine Feminine and Shady. So whoever they're in a relationship with, this, this relationship is going to crash. Because it's going to start to reveal that how shady they are. Some of them could have been having, a, it's going to be revealed that they're cheating on their wife too. Would you being fired i don't know some of you could have been dating your boss potentially but it's going to be shown that this person is hiding a relationship they hiding their shady behavior it says love messages this is all going to love they love life behind the scenes is going to crash and burn it says karmic ties some of them could be having sex with somebody on a job that you don't know but but you being fired is going to expose this or you guys do know this and y'all will expose it jezebel can't make it up Cannot make it up. Side hustler. Somebody work for Uber. So somebody, if you are a restaurant, a food restaurant, they messing with somebody who delivers the Uber, who pick up the Uber food and stuff like that. So yeah, last messages. If you've gotten something from this, like and subscribe. It says round and round. Cycles triggers lesson. Person going to be going through karma. It's, it's just they're going to be trapped and they're going to be going through karma. And they're going to be fed up as well because they're going to have money issues, love issues. They're going to have issues with trying to make schedules like work, bringing things together, their second life is going to be revealed. Like and subscribe. Going off to PAL 3. Till next time in Tarotland. PAL 3, if you pick this deck, or if you pick this door, or this door, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. 
Hopefully you're in good spirits when you see this reading. And the title today is, What is your boss karma for firing you? And take what apply, leave the rest. An emperor could be looked at as a boss or somebody's husband. So love information could pop in here. But let's get to it. I'm going to read you your messages from your card. If you pick this door, your message is a distant kiss and a prayer's flag. I wish of all the wishes that you were here. Through sunlight and rain, I need you near. If you pick this door, it says the Odyssey. Take, the, take in the beauty of the country land and botany. Explore the wonders like a gypsy traveling the Odyssey. Now your message is being that um, your boss fired you. They wish that you was there. They wish they never fired you when they said, I need you here and I need you there because you was with them through sunlight and rain. Some of you built this job with them or you was a main component to this job. You was the main like piece to the machine. You kept it well oiled. You kept it moving gracefully. It says, take in the beauty of the country land and the botany, explore like other gypsies. So you don't need to, like, be going to another job if you don't need any money right now. It's time for you to take in land, take in, being that uh, we in fall now in the States, start going apple picking, pumpkin picking. Start just escaping material land and just start clearing your mind. Don't be trapped behind materialism. The universe trying to bring you some type of blessings, it seems like. Now, with the Ace of Swords here... It's clarity that this person needed you at this job, but this person was too impulsive with this eight of wands. They was too impulsive. They fired you. They wanted to, like, stress out your life for some of you guys. They wanted to overwork you. They wanted to not have a happy uh, uh, job relationship. They wanted to bring drama to you. Some of your patients like you if you was in the healthcare, if you in the supermarket, your customers like you. Whatever job you have, if you're in a restaurant, they like you. They didn't want you to be happy. Somebody named could be Rita here. Somebody named could be Bryce. Somebody named could be Holly here. Or Rodney or Rod. Now, your boss is going to see that you had the strength. You was the one holding this job together. You were the word of one pouring the hope and the inspiration into this job. Some of you are very spiritual. Some of you are very small, but you are very strong. And this person who have defied you, whatever your boss was, your boss name could be Molly as well, or Hedda or Greta or Harrietta. Somebody named could be Chris. Your boss was a swindler. Your boss didn't like you. They was a grimy person, Mr. Don't You Know No Good. This person always wanted to keep you in a mental fog or mental confusion for some of you. For some of you guys, they wanted to keep you trapped in your head, not seeing what's going on, how they're fighting against you. Some of you had to clear out the clutter in your mind and realize that your boss is a grimy person and they are fighting against you. They want you to lose your job. Somebody named could be Wendy here. Somebody could be named Chris. Some, your job wants you back, though. Your boss wants you back. Some of them want to call you back because you were the one that was bringing the happiness to this job. They want you back. You were the one bringing hope and inspiration. Shout out to you you guys who've been in multiple pals because this came out in pal two, but in reverse. It says fake busy. Some of them thought you were fake busy at work, but you were really at work doing your job. Some of them, some of you could have been working by yourself, working into like a... a a lab or something, and they thought just by you by yourself, you're not working. This came out in Pow 2, so I'm not going to be digging in this Pow too much. Go to Pow 2 because this is an extension for Pow 2. Somebody here is a fire sign, but they is here. Karma's here. Karma, drama, endings, loss, mental breakdown. They wanted you to have a mental breakdown, but they are going to have a mental breakdown. Go to Pow 2, like and subscribe.